Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And we got 8,000 subscribers a couple days ago. I think it was two days ago. So thank you guys so much for that. That's awesome. Uh, I never expected to get to 1,000, let alone 8,000. Next goal, 10K. That's gonna be great. Uh, so I do really appreciate all the support. I know there's been ups and downs with the channel, but it does mean a lot to me. On that same topic, I wanted to mention where I am with PG and the talking about me taking down my videos and the, you know, request of a direct response from PG and no, I have not received that. However, however, I have been talking with some creators, faction members and gameplay faction members kind of in private and they haven't been able to give me any screenshots or anything like that, but they have some more than others explained how PG is starting to listen a little bit more, it seems to the idea of rewards. Increasing rewards for not only gold chests, well, I don't know if gold chests, but awarding activity, which if you have not checked out the forum post that I made, definitely suggest checking it out. I'll link it down below. Um, a lot of the guys started talking about how instead of just, you know, scaling gold chests, increase rewards in general and also award activity. And I think that would also fix the issue that I brought up that once you get, you know, past level 300, it is so hard to level. Um, you just need so many more speed ups. So for now, I will keep posting because if I did take down all my videos and I stop posting, anyways, I'll keep posting for now. If they keep releasing updates like the spell scaling, I'm not going to lie, that really annoyed me. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, I'm not sure about that. But anyways, so let's get into it. Sorry about the very long intro. So we have the new... Rider Astrid, and just so you guys know, Astrid is one of the best season riders that we have gotten so far. Astrid is actually quite good, and we're gonna go ahead and get her, and I'll show you my suggestions on how, like, to um, do her line, for example. I don't mean, uh, like, to research the different paths, and I'll explain why I'm doing it the way that I do. So I'm probably going to be getting Cert in the very near future. I will maybe not very near, but definitely going for cert. He's amazing, especially against undefended bases. He's just unstoppable. AoE freaking death gaze, like what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like GG well played. But yeah, in order to get cert, you have to get Astrid and then Yarl, I guess. Uh Yarl is trash. I would not suggest getting him. Let's go ahead and finish up this line right here. Again, you only have to finish the first half of the page to get the final like amounts of rider shards, but you do have to complete the entire branch in order to start cert. Alrighty guys. By the way guys, I got the new dragon rider. I think I have enough ex uh, glory to max her out. I'll max her out the next event and I'll show you guys what I do for her. In order to get the rider, for those who don't know, what you have to do is you have to go to the little um, like helmet looking thing in the bottom left hand corner, right above your roster, click on it, Go to unhired, and then here we go. Hire Astrid. I guess I'll just go ahead and keep her name Astrid, because why not? So, just basically hit train. Ideally, obviously, you want to be able to get her to max level. Please stop doing that. Thank you. All right. So, level 50. Just so you guys know, for those who are new to the game, maybe don't have Atlas Riders or, like, any Riders yet, in order to level this Rider up, you have to use skill points. However, there are not enough skill points to max out all these little boxes. You'll see that there's quite a few left over. So, you kind of have some variability. You can kind of have your own voice and choice in, like, choosing which path you want to go. And I'll explain the two paths I would suggest doing, and there's a reasoning behind that. So... Obviously, you want to get the dragon attack. Now, after this, you kind of have a couple of options. Personally, for me, like, thinking about it, Dark Flax do the most damage out of, like, these towers, for sure. And it seems like there's a lot of Dark Flak resistant towers these days. So, I personally am going to go for the Dark Flak. Then, obviously, you do the HP. By the way, you don't have to finish all three of these in, like, when it splits up. You only have to finish one in order to go to the next one. And I would not suggest finishing both of these before you get to the final thing right here. Because this is the banger. This is the one you want to get to. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, Dragon Attack, Dragon HP, Dragon XP Gain. I would not go for the Dragon XP Gain until you have already gotten the HP and Attack. Because, let's say, you know, you put this guy on a maxed out Dragon. 
that XP gain isn't going to help you. That HP and attack definitely will. So it's going to be more beneficial to get the dragon attack or HP. So here's when you start having options, all right? If you are going to use Astrid on a lot of warriors, you want to go ahead and put them on HP because HP is quite nice, especially with the new scaling that they've done to spells. This HP now goes into the spell. So if you have a ton of HP, for example, on Ani, his white uh, dreadful roar, I can't remember what it's called. It does so much damage now because of this added HP from the gear and rider. So if you're going to be putting it on warriors, I would definitely suggest going for HP first over attack. If you're going to be putting it on a hunter, obviously you're probably going to want to do attack. So what I'm going to do, because I am trying to limit my roster to mostly hunters because those are going to be the most useful uh, dragons to use. I'm going to go ahead and get the hunter attack and then we'll go ahead and get again the hunter attack. Currently we have a couple of options here. So what we could do is we could finish this HP and then this HP and then finish this one and have like three uh, skill points left to use in this. So I'll get a plus 4.2 percent dragon X XP. Or what I could do instead is get this one, this one, and then this one, and just skip out this. So I'll get a little bit more attack if I finish these three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. All right, and here's what I meant. So if we did this, we have 25 skill points left. That is enough to max this guy, and I'm going to get plus five dragon attack. Or I could spend 15 on this, which will give me plus 3% HP, and then I can get an extra plus 4.2 dragon XP. So do I want to do dragon attack or do I want to do these two? Personally, I would go with dragon attack because again, XP is great and all, but the one thing is it doesn't really help you a whole lot whenever you have maxed out dragons. And for me personally, as a higher level and as a guy near in game, and I have plenty of dragon riders that give me a ton of XP, I don't really need that. However, if you're new to the game, you know, the XP gain is not terrible. And you're going to have other ways to get more dragon riders where you want to focus on like HP and attack. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad idea to go for that XP increase if you're a lower level, but I wouldn't say it's a priority. So yeah, I guess that is that. Let's see what buffs that I got. Plus 14% dragon attack, plus 13% dragon HP. I believe you can have up to like plus 17% dragon HP and plus 12% or 11% dragon attack, which is really nice for warriors especially. But again, I already have several of these guys for warriors and I basically have all the riders besides one, I guess two, but I could technically hire her. But anyways, hope this helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments um, what you guys think. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.